Hi guys, it's Megan with DiscountCatholicProducts.com and today we are going to talk about the brown scapular. So we're going to talk about five things today. Why we have a brown scapular, the history of the brown scapular, miracles um, attributed to the brown scapular and uh, how you can get the benefits of it and how you take care of it and what it needs to be made out of. Okay, so first of all, why the brown scapular? So the brown scapular comes from Our Lady of Mount Carmel and she promised us that um, whoever dies wearing this scapular shall not suffer eternal fire. And she clarified that um, on the Saturday after your death, if you die wearing a brown scapular, that she will come down into purgatory on that Saturday and collect you and bring you into heaven. So that's pretty cool, right? Okay. So the brown scapular is what we call a sacramental. A sacramental is something that helps us uh, prepare to receive grace and to use that grace in a good way. All right, so step two, let's talk about the history of the brown scapular. So way back, like even in the Old Testament. So in the eighth century BC, Elias, remember Elias the prophet? He went up uh, to this holy mountain and this holy mountain was Mount Carmel. And he began this tradition of contemplative life and, and prayer. And he really dedicated himself to God's mother to come. Okay. Um, cause he knew that she was going to play a very important role in salvation history. So from Elias's devotion came this, um, tradition of hermitage on Mount Carmel. Okay. So these hermits, were, were very devoted to God's mother to come. And so they actually became the first to accept Christianity and to be baptized um, by the apostles after the ascension. So first we have Elias at about 800 BC and then 830 years after that when Christ um, ascended into heaven and the apostles started uh, proselytizing and baptizing these hermits were the first to accept Christianity. So they were also the first to ever build a chapel dedicated to Our Lady. So, um, and they built it on Mount Carmel. Okay, so let's fast forward to the Crusades. So in 1241, the Order of the Hermits, um, of the, the Mount Carmel uh, Order, moves to England after the Crusades. But after 10 years, from like 1241 to 12 to 1250, um, they're getting all this persecution from the outside, there's dissent on the inside, and there's poor Saint Simon Stock, right? He's 90 years old, he's supposed to be leading these hermits, and he's having a rough time of it. So, on July 16th, 1951, he's alone in his cell, and he's praying to Mary because he's having a hard time. He's having a rough time leading these hermits. And Our Lady appears to him with this whole congregation of angels, and, and um, she has with her a scapular. And she gives him that scapular and gives him the promise that whoever dies wearing the scapular shall not suffer eternal fire. What a gift. <laughs> you are given a promise from our mother that you shall not suffer eternal fire because of the garment that you are wearing and the devotion that you have to her. So that's pretty cool, right? Well, how do we know that any of this is true, right? It happened a long time ago. Well, the Catholic Church uses miracles, verified miracles, as a way to say, yes, this is true. And so there are a number of miracles. In fact, there are more miracles attributed to the brown scapular than to any other sacramental. Let's take a look at a few of those miracles. So we have Our Lady of Lourdes. When she appeared to Bernadette, um, she was dressed as Our Lady of Mount Carmel, right? And at Fatima, she held a brown scapular in her hand. And Sister Lucia said that it's just as important to wear the scapular as it is to pray the rosary. Okay? And so more miracles. We have Pope Gregory, who was, uh, he was buried wearing a brown scapular um, at the end of the 13th century there. And 550 years later, when, he, when his body was dug up, they found the scapular completely intact. Same with... St. Alphonsus and St. John Bosco, um, they were buried in their priestly garb and um, 
their garb and their their bodies had completely disintegrated to dust, but their scapular was completely intact. Um, there was a miracle with like the, the king of the ocean was an ocean liner that was traveling to Australia, and there was a there was a minister, a non-Catholic minister, on that ship as well as an Irishman named John McCliff. So this was in 1845, and they came across this horrible storm in the middle of the ocean, and everybody was scared. Um, but then the Irishman, he made the sign of the cross, and he prayed, and he threw his scapular out into the water. And immediately, the storm died down, and a wave came aboard, and the scapular was dropped at his feet. How cool is that? And the family, as soon as they reached um, the Protestant family, his, the minister and his family, as soon as they reached Australia, they immediately converted to Catholicism. Many more miracles, um, miracles concerning safety, miracles concerning um, houses that didn't burn down when they really should have, um, conversions of faith, people become more fervent in their Catholic faith, um, people surviving situations that they never should have survived because of this brown uh, scapular. So I highly encourage you, if you ever want to go down into um, a rabbit hole on the internet, you go ahead and you start looking up brown scapular miracles. Go to Fatima.org. They have a number of them there. Um, or we also have a book at Discount Catholic Products called Garment of Grace uh, that has a number of great um, miracles that, that are attributed to the brown scapular. So let's move on. How can you get the benefit? Of the brown scapular okay it's not nearly as hard as you would think so the first thing that you need to do is be enrolled or invested in the brown scapular by a priest this isn't difficult to do um, you take your brown scapular to your priest and um, he, sh and he will enroll you in the brown scapular okay so there are obligations that come with wearing the brown scapular that um, make sure that uh, make sure that you will have the benefits of the promise the first thing is that you wear it continuously. You wear it all the time, you wear it night and day, you wear it in the shower, you wear your brown scapular continuously. The second is that you are chaste according to your vocation. Um, of course, that means something for married people than it means for uh, single people. And finally, uh, you pray the little office every day and with a priest's permission that can actually be um, five decades of the rosary if that's okay by the priest okay so those three things you wear it all the time you're chaste and you say um, a daily rosary or uh, the little office daily okay all right so it's not difficult to get the benefits of this miraculous um, sacramental okay so finally let's talk about the construction of the brown scapular okay so You'll notice that this scapular is brown on the back and has an image on the front. Now, the important part is that this is 100% wool. It's felt, it's made of wool, and that, that is very important. The second part is that there are two continuous strings that are not broken, it has not been cut, it's not damaged. The two pieces of brown wool have to be attached by continuous cord and it doesn't matter what the cord's made of it can be made of this part can be made of a chain it can be made of cloth um, it doesn't matter as long as it's continuous of course you have to be wearing it when you die now you may have seen that there are such things as a scapular metal it looks just like a saint metal and it's metallic it could be sterling silver it could be gold filled it could be pewter um, now the church has said that that is okay to wear that you can wear metal scapulars especially for people who work um, in conditions like a rainforest where their scapulars are constantly disintegrating because of um, the, the humidity and the dirt and that type of thing. But I do want you to know that those metal scapulars have never um, had a miracle attributed to them as of yet. So um, just take that uh, for what you will. Um, and of course you must be wearing it when you die. Now if your scapular is damaged, if the string is broken or um, it's falling apart, you have a responsibility to dispose of it respectfully. And that means that it's either buried or it's burned. And at that point, you can buy another scapular, hopefully from discountcatholicproducts.com, um, but you can get another scapular and you don't have to have it blessed because that blessing is actually retained um, uh, from the original one, okay?
Um, so if you have any questions about scapulars, go ahead and you can email us at service at discountcatholicproducts.com and we'll be happy to help you out. Thank you.